Hey everybody and welcome back to Basinger's Disc Golf Channel. Josh here and I'm joined with Seth Overbay once again. Hey guys, glad to be back. We've got some more BDGC tournament coverage for you. Please subscribe for more disc golf videos if you haven't done so already. We're at the 2019 Tennessee State Disc Golf Championships in Morristown, Tennessee. After nine holes, we have Chris Dickerson at seven down, Johnny McRae at eight down, Zach Melton at eight down, Dutch Napier at eight down as well, and Matt Dollar sitting at seven down tied with Chris Dickerson. And we've played holes three through 11, and we're gonna be starting on hole number 12 here at Rotary Disc Golf Course, the brand new blue pins that just got put in last year. Hole 12 is a 405 foot par four. Once again, uh, this is kind of a soft par four, but you know, these guys don't see it as a par four. They're trying to get the two. Mm -hmm. You're gonna see most of these guys right here trying to throw over those trees right there. And if usually if you get a disc over those trees, you're gonna have a putt for two. First up was Prodigy sponsored uh, Dutch Napier. And now we've got Johnny McRae from Latitude 64 on the tee. Looked pretty good. Might've caught those trees, but. Next up, everybody knows this guy, Chris Dickerson. 1039 rated player out of Limestone, Tennessee. 10 wins this year. Yeah. That's a lot of wins in one season. Uh, yeah, through. I don't even have 10 wins. <laughs> Career. Uh, next up, we got uh, Dynamic Disc sponsored Zach Melton, a lefty, along with uh, Seth and I. We're both the lefties as well. Yep. This is also a play that I try, the turnover mid range. Looks like he's throwing his EMAC Truth here. Inside route. Probably looked like it faded out a little bit early. Oh yeah, he yeah. caught those trees, but should be okay. Next up we got uh, MVP sponsored Matt Dollar. 1009 rated player out of Georgia. Very inside. Mm -hmm. He unfortunately got caught up way early and he's oh, gonna yeah. have some a lot of problems to get up and down to the pin from here. Looks like he's going for a forehand roller. Stay out of the woods. Ah, went back into the woods with that roller. Yeah, still going to be some work from there. Going with forehand roller once again. That one's looking a little bit better. Looks like it's going to get him up there for a putt. There we go. Yeah. Looks like he's just outside the circle there. Zach here, jump putt, looks like. Yeah, he should be making that one from there. For sure. Dickerson, uh, long putt for uh, looking for an eagle two. Never count him out, though. Oh, yep. And that's why we never count him out. Yep, it's good <laughs> eagle. Outstanding putt from Dickerson right there. We're going to get a backtrack on that one and see that again. It's a really nice putt. Absolutely. Way outside the circle. <laughs> Up and oh, in. Yeah. Get ready to see a lot of those <laughs> in this tournament coverage. <laughs> As I said in the video before, if you haven't checked out the front nine already, make sure you do that. We filmed uh, four rounds and a final nine at Tennessee State, so plenty of coverage to come. Dutch up looking for the two. A little high. Should be all right, though. Johnny here, outside circle. Great oh, yeah. putt from Johnny. I remember there filming. Uh, his disc was right on the line. He asked the guys if... Instead of marking it, if he could just step behind and still be outside and jump. Yep. And that's a great decision. Worked out good for him. Yep, it's knowing the rules. Mm hmm. Oh, wow. Unfortunate spit out for Matt. Not very happy with that one. He is going to tap it in. I believe that's a five for Matt. So definitely not how he wants to start the back nine. But hopefully he can get back on track. Yeah. Dutch up and in for birdie. Yeah, he's three. I think Zach's going to be next. Yep. Easy tap in for him, for mm -hmm. his birdie. Wave to the crowd. And just keeps going. <laughs> Gotta love Zach. <laughs> okay, so after hole 12, we got uh, Johnny McRae taking the, the lead early here at 10 down. Going down to hole 13, it's 370 foot par four. Uh, this one, Seth, what do you think about this one? I think that this is a actually a true par four. It's 
almost impossible to get there in one shot. Mm -hmm. um, these guys, most righties I see try the high hyzer, try to get over there, you know what I mean, make their second shot easier, which looks like Dickerson's doing that now with an X1, trying to get over those trees. Yeah, you've got to go really high, as you can see. Oh, he yeah. has no problem getting that high, but looking for it to fade in down near the yellow pin. Oh, that's actually, a great spot. Yeah, absolutely. He gets it to sit down right down near the yellow pin. Being a lefty, I do this play as Dutch. Can't quite get my forehand over those trees, so I try to play for the skip up and in. Mm -hmm. Definitely not doing this. this yeah, is, so this is a crazy line from Zach right here. But he can do it. He's, you know, he throws far, and he's a lefty, so he's going to try to get that turnover up to the top of the trees. Mm -hmm. It's going to take a lot of power to get there. Looks like he did it pretty well. Absolutely. That's oh, so impressive. Over. Oh, yes. And he gets up in there. He actually went past the yellow pin yeah. up into the woods, as you saw, saw there. Matt looks like he's just happy to play this one for a par, trying to get up. Uh, mm -hmm. If you get inside that uh, little area up there, get in that landing zone, then you should be able to get up and down easy for maybe even still a birdie. He went a little deep off the tee, though. Yeah, he, he throw, sure did. Looked like a thumber. Mm -hmm. Thumber roller again. Thumber roller. Like. Johnny's also a little inside, but might have a gap over there. Playing mm -hmm. the skip. Oh, kind of like tree. Yeah, he got caught up on the right side over there. Looks like Dutch is really up against that tree, and he's going to try to fit the hazard in there. A lot of stuff up in that fairway, especially on the left side over there. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, hits and gets knocked down early. Dickerson's in a great spot after that over-the-top shot. Mm -hmm. You're not going to see a whole lot of drives land right here. Not at all. Looks great, though. It's going to be one of the easiest threes ever on this hole. Absolutely. Tap in three. Oh, Dutch once again. Couldn't really like see where that a, landed. I think he hit a vine, oh, okay. yeah, and shot yeah. him down to the left side over there. Looks like that's going to be an up and down. Mm -hmm. That's a great up and down after that. I mean, you get hit twice, or hit Terry twice and get knocked down early like that, you know, that's just a great up and down after that. Looks like that's Zach from the first, not yeah. from the first one. Zach over in the happy little trees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody catches that reference there. Dollar's caught up here on the right side as well. Uh, there was a lot of course maintenance went in the weeks leading to Tennessee State, but a lot of the stuff got pushed over to the side and never got taken out. So uh, there is still a lot of stuff piled up over on the side over here. Yeah. Here's Johnny putting for his three. Mm -hmm. Johnny having to deal with the same thing. I remember him saying, how much of this can I move? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Probably couldn't quite get the power he needed from that awkward stance on those trees. Mm -hmm. Zach here putting for his three. Ah. And that, yeah, that's a great three, especially after landing over in the rough stuff over there. Great to get up and down and get that birdie putt. Dollar just quickly tapping in there. Mm -hmm. Dollar doesn't waste a whole lot of time on the course. He knows the shots before and he gets out and uh, tries to execute them as quick as he can. An absolute tap in three for Dickerson there. So it looks like we got Dickerson, McCray, and Melton at 10 down. Eight down for Dutch, and then six down for Matt Dollar. Moving on to hole 14, 315 feet. Yeah. This is one of those holes where the initial gap is the most important part to get through because, as you can see, that one tree right there in the middle of the fairway. If you hit that, you're in some trouble. Mm -hmm. Looks like Dickerson does a pretty good job of avoiding that tree. That's a great shot. Yeah. yeah Shots know. like that is why he's a 2018 Disc Golf Pro Tour champion. Absolutely. <laughs> Zach here, forehand. Looks like he got through the gap. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Caught a late tree. Johnny, I assume, going with some sort of turnover here. Couldn't really – oh, there we go. Eh, yeah, that'll that'll play. He's going to be putting. Mm -hmm. It's a long putt, but a putt indeed. 
Dollar line up the backhand. Matt Dollar, the owner of 113 career wins. That's a lot of wins. It is. Skip that one right behind the basket. He's got a putt for it, too. Yeah, a little long, but he's putting. Mm -hmm. Dutcher also lining up the backhand, it seems. Yeah, a little high, maybe. No, he got through. Oh, yeah, that's great. And he's going to have almost a tap in for his, too. So Great shot from Dutch. If these guys don't make something happen here, he's going to be gaining strokes on quite a few of them. Zach opting for the soft flick. Look like a mid-range. Yeah, Justice. Very overstable disc. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, a pretty good shot. <laughs> I mean, that'll work. <laughs> Dollar you're putting for his birdie. Mm. Oh, a little high. Matt Dollar putting with Axiom Envy's very popular disc from the MVP and Axiom lineup. As you can see, looks like Chris is just inside. Mm -hmm. Doing his routine. Ooh, mm, a little high. Yeah, a little hot from Dickerson there. Yeah, uncharacteristic, for sure. Johnny looking to can this one. Mm, a little low. A little low for him. We got Dutch next up for the two. There we go. Looks like he's gaining a stroke on the card. It's a great comeback after that five on the previous hole. Mm-hmm. Chris up and in for his three. The rest of these guys are also going to be tapping in their threes. Like that lefty tap in from Duck Dollar. <laughs> Didn't even notice that when I filmed. So after uh, hole 14, 10 down for the top three, Dickerson, McCray, and Melton. And uh, Dutch gained a stroke on them there, but we're going on to hole 15. 390 feet. Uh, this is one of the harder holes. Uh, you got to find your own fairway, basically. Yeah. Find a gap and try and make it through. Dutch, unfortunately, got knocked down early. This is a great play if you have it. Once again, the gigantic righty hyzer, mm -hmm. um, which is probably what Chris is going to do. Maybe Johnny, but Chris is throwing his X1 here as high as possible and just going to let it try to hyzer out over there to the left towards mm -hmm. the pin. And this is a play we saw in years past from Will Schuster and some of the bigger arms. And it most of that had grown up. But as you can see, he got around it. I couldn't exactly see where he was there, but he's about uh, 80 feet from the basket, but over in uh, short left. Short left, okay. Wood, so. Traditional gap that Zach, oh, a little turned over there. Mm -hmm. But he made it most of the way. Should be all right. Basically on this one, I would say these guys are aiming to land near the short pin mm -hmm. and then get up and down for a three there. You're not going to see this one too very often. As a matter of fact, I'm not sure it's ever been tuned in the blue pin. Yeah. It's like Dollar made it through there. You can really tell. Yeah, Dollar, he did make it through right up at the top of the hill there. Johnny taking absolutely no time. And unfortunately hits the short pin. Oh no, he hit the pole. He was uh he had very good spirits about it though. He he mentioned he said it was there before I threw, so you know, it it's hard to think that way out on the course. I know if the pin's in your way you kinda of wonder why it's there, but he was very good spirits about that. Zach with a forehand little up shot here. Surprised he went on the inside of that. I thought he was going to go on the outside of that. The big hyzer. But he made it work out. Dollar there with a great up shot. Almost mm -hmm. putting it in. You can see here. That's the short pin there. Johnny, I mean, he hit the pole. But hopefully he can get up and down from here. Yeah. Taking his time. These uh, newer blue pins, uh, as far as I know, this is the first time the entire course has been filmed on the, the blue pins. So 
kind of a treat to get to see this here in the States this year. Looks like Dutch is lining up a Thummer or Tomahawk shot to get to the basket. And he got out just on the edge there. I couldn't get it with that angle. It's right behind that tree over there. Dickerson also over on the left, but he, he'll be throwing for two. Mm -hmm. See what he can do from over there. So you can see that big hyzer shot can definitely work out. And he got out as well, but it got knocked down on the side over there. But him and Dutch are both putting. As you can see Dutch here. Wind's starting to pick up, as you can see, a little bit. He just left that one high. Mm -hmm. Zach from the rough as well, it's looking like. Unfortunately, having to take a knee to get a line here. Oh yeah, that's a great putt from a knee. <laughs> Absolutely. Just an outstanding putt. I'm sure he's very happy to make that one. And we're going to get a backtrack on that one as well. I could not uh, leave that one without being played again. It's just a great putt. Oh yeah, from a knee from the woods. Mm -hmm. a little gallop there to go get his disc. Yeah. Dutch. Went a little bit past on this putt. Oh, unfortunately, the other one was high, and he left this one a little bit low. Maybe a little bit of overcorrection there. Johnny here. Good uh, putt. Great putt by Johnny. I think mm -hmm. he's putting with the new Keystone is what I heard. I'm not exactly sure on that, but... Okay. And Chris tapping in his three. I did hear him mention in the Keystone during the tournament. So I do know he does bag one, but I didn't know that that's what he was putting with. Matt a little bit high. Smart to, you know, even though he's well inside the circle there with that wind, as you can see, Helen, smart to lay as many down and go ahead and take as much distance as he can on that. Dutch tapping his in. That one sets McCray back uh, one stroke from Dickerson and Melton. Hole 16, 445 feet. This is another one where uh, your short pin is going to be pretty much right in your landing zone. Well, as you saw there on the sign, it says it's a par 3, but it's actually labeled incorrectly. This is a par 4. Oh, is it? On the big sign, on the okay. course sign, it is labeled as a par 4. So. Right. Chris there with a great drive. He's going to be looking at it. Absolutely. Zach probably going to try and get a, a hyzer flip. Mm -hmm. Just get it to that yellow basket like you said and just, you know, have a good open up shot to the blue pin. Mm -hmm. Doesn't quite flip and that's heading towards hole 17's fairway. They had to yell there for the people who were on hole 17's tee. Yeah, a little early, but mm -hmm. see what he has to work with. Johnny, as you said, wasting no time. Absolutely piping that drive. Mm -hmm, that's a crush. Oh, yeah. He might even be a little pinched off because he threw too far of a drive. Mm -hmm. See what Dollar can do here. Looks like he's just lining up a backhand, probably. Anheuser shot, trying to get some flex on it. Doesn't quite flex on him. He's over on the right side of the fairway as well. Dutch, a little early on that one. Good kick through though. I mean, he probably has a gap over there. Mm -hmm. He definitely had some power on that one, a little bit more to the right, and that would have been absolute perfect shot. Zach here, taking his time with the backhand. Mm -hmm. Pinched up with that stump right behind him. And yeah, that almost looks great. It. I honestly thought he threw that one in when I was filming him. That was a great shot. Yeah, it looked great. Looks like Dutch does have a gap here to the basket. Mm -hmm. Ah, caught in another late tree on his up shot. Mm -hmm. Matt trying to get up and down.
Johnny. Yeah, as you can see, he's a little bit pinched. Probably mm -hmm. got a gap over there somewhere. It looks like he just tried to get it over there, which he did. And Chris here with a very easy upshot after his um, pretty good drive. Mm. Actually catches an early tree. That's for the turnover putter. And just absolutely perfect. That's a great shot. This is another one where I wanted to show the angle, but didn't want to be bothering Chris and getting behind him there, so didn't quite get the angle on this putt, but mm. those trees were definitely in his way. Just left a little bit short there. Johnny as well, he had mentioned, all I could see was about a quarter of the right side of the basket here, hyzering around those trees. Yeah. Couldn't really tell, but he looked like he missed that one to the left mm -hmm. on a hyzer. Zach here for his three. Great second shot. Mm -hmm. And a oh. little bit right. Dollar having some issues over there. There was seemed to be some poison ivy right there where he was, so took him a bit to get him uh, some footing there. Johnny tapping in. The rest of these guys seems like they're just going to be tapping in. Mm -hmm. Should have no problems. Tap in from Chris. And Dutch is going to do the same as well. So nine down for Dickerson and Melton after that hole. Eight down for McCray. And we're going to go on to hole 17. 455 foot par four. Uh, this is a hard one, right, Seth? Mm -hmm. This is, I would say, this is one of the harder holes on the course. Mm -hmm. Just because the tee shot isn't easy and, you know, there's not very many gaps towards the blue basket. We have seen uh, over to the left side, we saw Logan Bowers in the 2019 Morristown spring fling throw on the left side there and had it work out. But this is a big tournament. I don't expect anybody to be doing. Any shots like that? No. You see there, Chris. Chris hit the gap you want to hit. Just hydring down to the left. He, sh I mean, he should have a gap towards the blue pin. Mm -hmm. That's definitely a great place where he's at down there. That's that's what you want to do. Just get down there and be able to get up and down. Zach with the inside route looks like he caught up a few branches there. Johnny going with a wider hyzer. Unfortunately, got knocked down. Oh. Dutch also, just a little bit of misfire there. Starting to get to him a little bit here, as you can tell. Let's see what he can do here. Looks like he's lining up a forehand roller. It's looking good. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit more on that, and that would have been absolutely perfect. He almost caught around the corner there. Zach looking pretty caught up over here. Oh, yeah. Skip. Oh, that's looking great. Absolutely. See, this is what you're looking at if you hit an early tree. Mm -hmm. And that's usually what happens when you're looking at this. <laughs> this is definitely one of those fairways where you have to try and get down through there on your drive because you get in big trouble. As you can see... Dollar's disc over on the right side still rolling over there. He didn't see that and he didn't know how it got where it was. Just kind of, it's getting to him a little bit there as you can see. He's, He's just not very happy, it doesn't quick. seem like. Yeah. Looking like a great shot from Johnny. E. Chris had the longest drive here. Great upshot as well. That's going to be a tap in three. Three on this hole is just amazing. It, it definitely is. 
No shame in that shot from no, Dutch. Not at all. Zach being a lefty here got those trees right on his left side. It's going to be a difficult putt. A long putt at that yeah. as well. Yeah. Probably edgy circle two, it mm -hmm. looks like. Still a great place to be after two shots on this hole, though. Especially after his drive, and he just left that one low. I mean, it was on a good line. Mm -hmm. Dollar just low with his putt as well. See what Johnny can do. Maybe just outside the circle. No, he, he was just inside. Oh, he, okay. Good putt. Yep. Also a good three by Johnny. Mm -hmm. As Seth said, this is not a hole that's going to be three very often. I mean, if, if you three this hole, uh, you see Dickerson there, just absolute tap in three. You're, you're not going to see that often. Zach here just taking his time, going to tap this one in, hopefully. Zach's owner of 34 career wins, five of those in 2019 alone. This is a good putt from Zach. Matt tapping his in. Dickerson with the early lead at 10 down on this card. We'll be moving on to hole 18. This hole is a, an absolute, it takes a crush to get down there. 775 feet, par 5. These guys are probably thinking more of it being a par 4. Correct. Dickerson with his large run up here. Looking to absolutely crush a disc. Mm -hmm. Looks like he's getting over on one of those D2s. Getting a lot of distance out of that one. Yeah, he's down there on the path. Johnny here, which looked like his blue recoil. Mm hmm. Definitely recoil. He told me after this shot. Absolute mash. Oh, my Lord. He's going to be on the hill. That yeah. is crushed. That's about as oh much distance goodness. as you're ever going to see on this hole. We could not believe how much distance he got out of that. That was a great flex. Mm -hmm. Zach here, um, B being the fellow lefty, I try to just throw the hyzer, just let it fade back over to the right. It's going to put you in decent position just to be able to throw another lefty hyzer mm -hmm. over the OB. He's heading straight for the OB. Yeah, you drift a little left. Ooh, that looked like a good branch. Yeah, he got he fortunately stopped just before the OB, so didn't have to worry about that. Dutch lining up a roller here, which is a good play as well. Get plenty of distance, but you need to make sure you get over on it so it doesn't roll OB. It's a good roller. Mm-hmm. Right here, quickly getting up and trying to turn that over. Throwing an in hazard. Didn't quite get over on it, fading out to the left side. He's going to be in the bushes. Yeah, that's going to be a hard shot from there. As you can see, his disc landed up in all this rough on the left side there. Looks like he's just going to have to flick one out. Smartly, not trying to go for anything crazy here. Exactly. Taking up as much ground as he can. He got quite a bit of distance out of that mm -hmm. for being pinched up on the left side there. Yes, this is a great shot. Chris fortunately stayed safe, didn't get near the OB as well. Looks like he's lining go. up the righty back in, Heiser. Mm -hmm. I would say looking to put this one in the mulch, wouldn't you think? Uh, yeah, somewhere close to it, making that putt. Skip it up right near the uh, mulch area there. Zach's going to be going with the big high hyzer. Yep. Very common play from Zach, seeing him trying to take it wide and high, get the fade down in towards the basket. Fortunately, being the lefties that we are, um, we get to throw the second shot over OB the whole time and not have to fade towards it. Exactly. So there's not as much worry about that. And that's a great shot from Zach. Yeah. They'll be putting. Good forehand by Dutch. A little right. Mm-hmm. 
Inside the circle, though, looked like. And Johnny, as you can see, <laughs> how much distance would you say is on that drive there, Seth? Oh, man. I'd say he's 550 at yeah, least. Yeah, I was going to say close to six. I mean, he's he pushing six that there. One. Dollar here with his third. Just mm -hmm. trying to put it up there. It's a good up shot to be just jumping it into the circle from back there. Most of the time you hit that mulch and you can sit down pretty easily if you throw a putter. Now drivers sometimes will skip off. Oh yeah. That's, That's Chris for his eagle. Mm. Step putt. Dead center. Let's see what Dutch can do here from just outside the circle. Mm. A little right. A little low, but that, that. that should be sticking. Zach here up against the wood. That wood's about 15 feet, so. A little left. Wow. Uncharacteristic from Zach. Mm hmm. Matt tapping in his birdie, but he's not thinking birdie in his head. He's thinking par on this hole for sure. Johnny with the easiest throw on this hole ever. Absolutely. Just an outstanding drive. Great up shot. Zach with his comeback. Mm -hmm. Four. Great show of courtesy there, Johnny. He's stopping to make sure he doesn't get in Zach's head. He got with his turbo putt. Got two turbo putters on this car. We got Johnny e. and Dutch, so maybe you'll see more. Moving on to hole number one, 570 feet. It's a par four as well. Chris is looking to just throw a hazard with his uh, D2 there and hopefully just get towards the gap. Mm -hmm. Looks like he hung that one a little high. It's high ring out. Yeah, and that one ended up on hole eight's fairway, actually. These guys are really rushing off the tee here because uh, the rain was about to catch up to us here. The weather had been tempting us all day, and yep. it was just about to catch up. Luckily, during this round. Uh, uh, that's a mash from Johnny. Yeah. Zach here, turnover. You can see the wind starting to pick up, and they knew that if they didn't hurry and get these last two holes done, that we'd be poured on. Zach didn't quite turn that one enough, but he's getting down there. Mm -hmm. Should have something. Wow. Crazy wind bounce there. Dutch taking absolutely no time at all with the turnover. And the wind just dropping his as well. Actually, that might have been a good drop. kind of looked like he was going to hazard out over mm -hmm. there with Chris as well. True. Let's see what Matt can do here. Looked like he put some Anheuser on that, but didn't quite get over on it enough. Still got some good distance out of it. Yeah. And as you can see here, the rain caught up to us. Thankfully, we were done at this point. We didn't have to deal with this weather. Mm -hmm. Everybody playing real quick. I was trying to get everybody's shots. I accidentally missed Chris's up shot. So they're just playing so quick in this rain. And that's where it was called. Uh, we had about a 30 minute delay. Yep. This here, I was just showing the rain. The hail was coming down and it got pretty rough. And so this right here, Johnny's shot right here is about 30, maybe 40 minutes after what you had just seen. Still a little wet, obviously, because it was absolutely pouring down. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, left down a little left. Mm -hmm. And this is Chris after his second shot. Like I said, I missed his second shot, but he ended up almost on hole two's fairway here. So we went from <laughs> hole one to hole eight to hole two, back going back to hole one's basket now. Mm. Just a little bit low off the cage. Dutch here with that tree in his way. Able to put that one in. Mm -hmm. That's a great putt. Johnny down in the ditch over there. Looks like he's lining up a turbo. Upside down turbo. Mm hmm. It puts He's it able in. to put that one in there. <laughs> a little laugh from him. He was excited about that one. 
Let's see that one again. Upside down turbo putt from the ditch, up and in the basket. That's a great shot right there. Zach with his comeback. Trying to save his par. Oh yeah. Able to do so. Dollar, mm -hmm. oh. Barely got that one yeah. over the cage. Stucco. Mm -hmm. Chris here. Four's not a bad score from what from he had to go through. Right. <laughs> yeah. So Dickerson and McCray are at 12 down, Melton at 10 down. Moving on to our final hole, hole two, 350 foot par three. It's the final hole of round one. Johnny unfortunately got caught up early there. He slipped a little bit on the tee pad. Like I said, these guys have been playing on dry tee pads all day until they got to this one, so. That's the problem on this hole. Usually if you usually throw the hyzer and sometimes it'll skip off that hillside and sometimes it won't. Mm -hmm. Matt going with a backhand roller. Very aggressive, hitting that fence there. Chris looks like he's just going to throw the backhand as well. X1. Playing for some skip. Yeah. Great skip. That's what you want right there. Mm -hmm. Zach with a flick. During the last tournament, I filmed him here, the spring fling. He did the backhand turnover. That's a great flick. Mm -hmm. Made the correction here. You can see the just the puddles on the ground there, Johnny, having to deal with that. Water's probably not even in his mind, as you can see. He's just mm -hmm. kneeling down in it. So focused. That's an outstanding shot there. Mm -hmm. Not a common play from that area, but he made it work out. Matt tucked up against the fence. He's going to have to go high. That's a good shot as well. Is that here? Back in putter? Mm -hmm. and he's going to roll out. Yeah, that's one of the big problems on this hole. The basket's on, on the side of a hill there. Uh, rollaways happen very commonly here. Mm-hmm. Chris, after his, just skipped all the way over. Mm -hmm. He's looking at a pretty easy shot. Looking like he might, oh no, he's okay. Up and down, that's going to be a three. Johnny here putting for his three. And, Ooh. oh, off the band. It's a great run from there. Zach looking at a long putt to save his par. And, oh yeah, that's a great putt to mm -hmm. finish the round on. Absolutely. Dutch, as you can see on the right side here, has got a lot of stuff in the way. Doesn't really look like he knows what. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, hard to find a line and all of that. Chris button for his three. No Ooh. problems. Good putt from Chris. Mm -hmm. Got dollar here. Just gonna put that one in. Mm -hmm. Another thing you got to deal with putting up like that. Sometimes they can hit the chains and fall right back out. So it's another thing you got to think of on this hole. Good hit there. And all we got here is Dutch going to tap in, hopefully. Yeah, there you go. No problems. And that's going to do it for round one, back nine. Uh, we got Dickerson at 12 down, Johnny McRae at 11 down, Zach Mountain at 10 down, Dutch Napier at 6 down, and Dollar at 5 down. Uh, 12 down for Dickerson was a 10-20 rated round tied with Zachariah Johnson. Uh, but the story of the day was a uh, local player, regional player rather, Brandon Brown shooting 
14 down course record, a 1036 rated round. So 55 on that blue course is very, very hot. Absolutely. You won't see that probably very often. So for our uh, round two coverage, you're going to see uh, regional player Brandon Brown, sponsored by Prodigy Discs, Zachariah Johnson, and Chris Dickerson, who were tied in second, and Johnny McRae will be on there as well, playing at Morristown Kiwanis Disc Golf Course. So please uh, stay tuned and check us out. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out when that video comes up. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook, Bay Singers Disc Golf Channel TN. Uh, check us out on Patreon as well, slash BDGC. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe. Thanks, guys. Four. This is plug. I've already had one spit out. Yes. Two for five. <laughs> that was on film, I hope. Am I doing the thing? Am I rotating him or something like that? He was crawling, then he started folding in half doing that. Pretty wild, huh? That's crazy. Is that weird? Grab onto the metal? You better have some suction cups, buddy. <laughs> That's a weird looking caterpillar. Isn't it? Looks I'm like it. Sure, he'll sneak it. Stay in. Very good.